Guys, today we're going to be talking about the bell pepper or capsicum, depending from where you're from and how you call it. Now, I'm very surprised to see that across the internet, on a lot of time at home and in recipes, I always see the same type of preparation and how to prepare these uh, capsicums. Now, in the French cooking and academically, there is actually two ways in which you have to prepare these vegetables. If you prepare a cold dish, there is one way to prepare them or to peel them. If you prepare a warm dish, there is an other way. So this is what you're gonna see in a minute. Now, before I go again with my little quick facts about vegetables, I like this little section. You have to know that the capsicum is actually from South America more importantly from Mexico, as old as 5,000 years old. It was uh, some seeds have been actually found. There's plenty of species, it's got lots of vitamin, and it's got two good things for you. One is very good for the memory, very good for the brain, so it's a lot of capsicum, and also it's got some anti-cancer agents. So to fight against cancer, apparently, it's also one of the good plans. But that's it for now. Let's jump into the technical demonstration on how to prepare this. See you then. <laughs> Hi and welcome back. So, how do we prepare these capsicum or bell peppers, depending on how you call them? The first thing, when you get your raw product, you need to wash them. Okay, so I've prepared some water in here. I've gotten one for the demonstration. If you have many, just plunge them underwater. Running water is fine, but just to show you a nice little bath, you kind of brush it nicely, make sure there's no impurity, and make sure it's all nice and clean as usual. When it's done, you take it out of the water, you can dry it on a paper towel. I've just prepared here a clean uh, special towel here to just roll it in and I put it back on here. So the first thing we're going to look at, how to prepare a bell pepper for cold preparation. Now the one thing I never see on a lot of recipes is people peeling bell peppers with a peeler. It's such a simple thing, but I never actually seen it anywhere, but this is the way Technically, in France or in restaurants, if you prepare a salad and you use bell peppers, this is what you're going to do. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to gently peel off the skin for the vegetable. So there's nothing special about it. As you can see, it's just like a, any other vegetable or a potato or whatever. You're just going to be peeling through and remove a little, a little skin at a time. So, you know, there's no specific ways to go around it. It's just like peeling a vegetable. You try to get everything. Don't carve the whole thing. So don't apply too much pressure on your uh, on your peeler when you try to peel that thing because, you know, it could be a bit uh, otherwise open and it could be difficult. So there. There you go. So as you can see, there's some skin and stuff like that, but no major, you know, it's not, not a big deal. But most of it, as you can see, some of the skin, is, the skin is off. You can make it better because, you know, it's always a bit of a rush in the videos. Try to make as much as you can, as best as you can. It depends on the shape of the pepper. But when it's done, basically, you put it here. Right, so this is for a cold preparation. Okay, you use a peeler, remove as much of the, the skin as you can. If you do a... Uh, warm preparation. Once you've watched your raw product, the way to do it, you would put it in an oven at 250 degrees for a few minutes. You can glaze it with a bit of oil, leave it on a cooking tray for about five to ten minutes, and when it's done, you take it out and you're gonna put it in a container like that. So I'm showing you, and as soon as you put it in, you put a plastic wrap on top so that a steam appears and you get a pepper like this. So this was in the oven for five or 10 minutes. I then put it in the container, cover it, leave it on the side just for a few minutes until it cools down a little bit. You don't want it to be cold because then the skin starts to stick. And this is what you get. So you will take your, your pepper out and you will start the peeling process just by hand with a little knife. As you can see, it's very delicate, but it's really, once it's steam and cooked, it's kind of very, very easy to kind of peel everything off the pepper. So you see, sometimes 
It's just even by hand, you could even, you know, detach it with a little pressure. But for now, look, the skin is gone. It's all nice and prepared and we're going to put it in our finished product. Okay. Now, when this is done, we're going to check the part for the cutting. All right. So cutting stage for the raw product and the one we're going to use uh, the cold, of course, it's always the easiest to cut. We still have that branch. This is where it was attached to the plant. So what we're going to do with a utility knife or paring knife, a lot of people will cut it straight off. Usually we're going to try to work around and make an incision to basically try to detach the heart of the, uh, the pepper. Then, then it's a case of removing the seeds. You can do it by hand. You can help with a knife and you tap to make sure you get rid of most of the seeds. Okay. When you're at that stage, the types of cut you can do sometimes for decoration purposes. Okay. You can get rid of that. Some people will start carving the, uh, the pepper like this for decoration or they want to put it on dish on the side or anything like that. I'm not a super fan of that, uh, that shape. As you can see, it makes a shape. Some people use it. Apparently it is in the book said that you can use that for decoration. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to the next stage, you basically have to divide your pepper. So you open it. Okay, you get a nice strip. It's up to you on how many pieces you want to um, to cut it. Okay, so in this case here, pff, we can make three. Okay, I'm gonna remove that white part. And the exercise is trying to get as much as a clean parcel as you can. Okay, and that's it. From here, <clears throat> in French cooking, a lot of time you will uh, basically make this uh, émincé, which is basically sliced. No, okay, so this is some bâtonnet, and as per usual, we're gonna find again the uh, brunoise of pepper, which is gonna be that uh, little little squares. So depending on you know how thin you want it, and that there you have it. You get the idea. Okay, so more little square over here. That another cut but that's it for the raw one when it comes to the cooked one exactly the same except that this is very uh, fragile so it's the exercise is a bit more delicate you have to do the same there's a lot of juice coming out so you have to basically be very careful you get the seeds out and from here you can't tap it you see there's juice coming out you got water you got all sorts so basically from here, you're going to try to, like we did before, to open it. And once it's open, then you can start working gently by hand and work on removing all of the excess of seeds. And then you have it. Same thing here. You're going to divide again the product in different parts. Look at this. You try to make a flat parcel, as flat as possible. As always, this is untidy. We're going to chop it off. Chop it off, sorry. Same thing here. Bang. Done. Uh, for a dish, usually in France, honestly, when it's cooked, you're going to use it like that. You only mince the product and you keep this nice little batonnet. This is a garniture. You're going to call this like that and you can use it with all kinds of different uh, dishes, but delicious to eat, even like that. As always, I love to eat these things. All right, so that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.